the book. Yeah. The problem that many churches have today is that everybody wants to be the leader in the church. Everybody wants power and control in the church. But the truth of the matter is that the church was never meant to be a place where we struggle on power. Where if you touch them, you are spiritually unclean. 
Yeah. yeah. Jesus is teaching us that every once in a while, you got to get a little dirty to save someone's life. You got to be willing to go when nobody else wants to go and do what nobody else wants to do in order to save someone. So do you really want this? You know this man. He's the man who comes from a good home. All right. And yet gives him his body away to anybody and everybody. Right. You know this man. He's the man that comes from a good home. And yet he finds himself acting out because he just doesn't know what to do. You know this man. He doesn't have one issue, but he's dealing with issue after issue yeah. after issue. After issue, yes. after issue, you know this man. Yes. He does things, and he may not be physically be crying out, or she may not be physically be crying out, but her actions say that she needs help. Yes. And this is who we're called to go after. Yes. All right. Do you really right, Come on. want yes. this? Mm -hmm. This man was isolated. Yes. He was alone yes. All right. because of his condition. All yes. right. The people that God will send you after are often the very people that in the middle of a crime, you can still identify them as being by themselves. In the middle of a crowd, they're the only ones crying. In the middle of a crowd, they're the only ones holding themselves. In the middle of a crowd, while everyone is laughing and joking and having a good time, they seem to be dealing with things in their mind. This is who we're called to go on and get. Do you really? Want this? This man was barely holding on to his life. Yes. The Bible tells us that when Jesus cast Legion out of them, it went into the swine, and the swine ran down the mountain and drowned in the ocean. He was dealing with some violent issues that literally could have taken him out at any moment. And if we are so busy being comfortable in the boat that we refuse to get off the boat, someone is on the Yeah. To do a ministry. Mm -hmm. But he didn't 
didn't stop with just doing ministry for earthly applause. Yes. But he allowed, he understood his end game. Yes. Yes. Jesus knew that because we would be the people living in tombs, that he had to be whipped in a court all night long. Yes. Because Jesus understood that we would be people in the tombs, that he had to carry his cross yes. up a hill called Calvary. Yes. Because Jesus knew that we would be the people living in tombs, that we would have to die on Calvary's cross, being mocked, being scorned, when the crown of thorns pressed in his head, and a spear piercing his side, so that his blood flowed. And because Jesus knew that we would be the people living in our own spiritual tombs, that he had to be put in a bald grave, so that he could rise three days later. Because if he doesn't do that, we don't get saved. Yeah. If he doesn't die, we don't have eternal life. Yeah. If he doesn't come down from his cross, from his cushy throne in heaven, we are forever bound to die in our sins. Yeah. Yeah. Do we really want this? Want this? I understand that this is not the sermon that make you shout on this side. I understand that this is not the sermon that a typical pastoral candidate should be preaching.